The following is a production of New Mexico State University. Jane Davey, Arizona landscape designer and gardener, is responsible for the landscape around the home of John Breeding. She blends a Mediterranean landscape into the natural beauty of the Sedona area. Jane, this house looks like it belongs in this landscape or the landscape belongs around this house. They go well together. It's a beautiful Mediterranean house, so it needs a Mediterranean garden. Some of the elements of a Mediterranean garden are extensive hardscaping, uh, lots of water features, lots of shaded areas. Uh, below this water feature, we have several pots which carry the uh, overflow of the pond. Uh, the plants, they uh, really require a lot of vivid color, mm -hmm. lots of texture, lots of uh, fragrance. Is that one of the characteristics? Yes, it is. Uh, most of all, a Mediterranean garden is designed for pleasure. Think of the history of it. I see rosemary and thyme, which are from the Mediterranean region. Yes. But I see Russian sage, which is not native to the Mediterranean. No, it's not. But it fits well here, but also in the surrounding environment. Yes, it does. It leads us into the other transition gardens, and I'd like to show them to you, Curtis. Okay, so you transition from this, which is a little more cultured, into something that is more like the native environment. Yes. This is really interesting. This looks like a native plant mixed with the cultivated plants here. It is. We have manzanita here. Now I look around and see all kinds of the junipers here, but this plant, I don't recognize it. This is a chaparral sage. You see it mostly in cultivated gardens. Okay. It lends itself well, though, to native plantings. Wow, and it fits right into the native planting. Yes, it does. I'd like to take you down to show you some more of the native plantings and okay. native flowers. Curtis, here we are in one of the native gardens. As the paths were built, a lot of the soil around was disturbed and we lost a lot of the native planting. So I've tried to recreate it as well as I could using natural plants and here's what we've got. What is that over here? Uh, is that sculpture? We've fooled you. <laughs> yes. Most Sedona gardeners have a real problem with javelina, so this is John's way to commemorate them in a natural setting. <laughs> he brought the javelina right in. What does he think of what you've done here? You'd probably be best to ask John. He's up in one of the more spectacular gardens. More spectacular. More spectacular. I've got to see that. Oh, hi, Curtis. Hi, John. Welcome Jane. to Sedona. Oh, thank you. And Jane has been doing a great job here from my perspective. What do you think? Uh, I agree with you. Jane uh, took over this project about four months ago and uh, has done a remarkable job. But my only instructions were to her were I'm not a very subtle guy. I like color. Uh, I like a lot of color and I, I'd like uh, lush gardens everywhere. To me, uh, gardens are just uh, pieces of art on the outside, and it takes an artist to put it together and, and for everyone else to enjoy, and I get to enjoy it. I see the giraffes here. I saw the javelinas yeah, already. Yeah. <laughs> a so, little whimsy here and there doesn't, it doesn't hurt a bit. And you were working with a frog yep, as I came yep. in. <laughs> and Jane told me this part was the most spectacular part of the landscape, and I think she's right. I think she is, too. And I see her over here. I'm going to talk to her about that some Very more. Very good. Jane, I see what you mean. It's spectacular back here. It's really yes, striking. Yes, it is. Sitting in the middle of a natural environment, this is like a jewel. In the middle of the summer, when it's hot out here, you can be inside enjoying the garden. That's correct. The preceding was a production of New Mexico State University. The views and opinions in this program are those of the author and do not necessarily represent the views and opinions of the NMSU Board of Regents.